to be Andrew Goodall, Prif Wethodor, a gig Cymru. I'm Andrew Goodall, Chief Executive of NHS Wales, and today I'm publishing the fourth NHS Wales Annual Quality Statement. Millions of people across Wales access our NHS services every year, and these services are delivered on a vast scale by more than 90,000 committed staff in many different settings. My report provides a snapshot of the great work being carried out every day to provide safe quality services for patients. And it's important we all acknowledge and celebrate good practice, innovation and achievement across Wales. In this statement, I'm pleased to see some real improvements in the quality of care being provided, in particular in the treatment of dementia, sepsis, diabetes and cancer. However, it's also important to focus on areas where improvements are necessary to ensure we are providing the right service in the right place at the right time to meet the individual needs of patients. We'll all recall that last winter was the busiest on record for the NHS, with extreme weather conditions, record levels of emergency admissions, the highest proportion of elderly patients admitted for many years, and very high flu levels. And despite this sustained pressure, I'm reassured that not only did the vast majority of patients receive timely and of course professional care, but this was against a backdrop of improvements in some of our key waiting times figures, such as diagnostics and referral to treatment. I think this acknowledges the amount of planning which takes place each year to prepare for that winter period, but is really about the commitment of staff, many of whom will have struggled through difficult weather conditions to continue to care for their patients. However, I'm clear that there were times when patients waited longer than is acceptable, and it's necessary for NHS organisations in Wales to evaluate the reasons for this and make improvements this winter, particularly in respect of the pressures on our emergency care system. Of course, the pressure on NHS services isn't just limited to winter due to ever-increasing demand and against the backdrop of financial constraints. Working out how we respond to this pressure has been a key issue for everyone involved this year as we reflect on the 70th anniversary of the NHS and we respond to the Parliamentary Review of Health and Social Care in Wales. Much has changed since and Iron Bevan created the NHS in 1948 with increased life expectancy, a real success story of the NHS, thanks to improvements in research, healthcare and medicines. And I was privileged to meet staff across Wales as part of the anniversary celebrations and was reminded of the enormous changes in care and clinical practice that have occurred in the last 70 years. This is an achievement to be celebrated, but we recognise that increased life expectancy brings its own challenges, including frailty, loneliness and isolation, and a need to focus on different care needs throughout our lives. We also know that the majority of older, more vulnerable people want to remain in their own homes, living as independently as possible, and we must adapt to manage their health and care needs better within the support available in their communities. This in turn means better working across health and social services to give people seamless, joined up services providing care and support when and where they require it to meet their individual needs. This year, in response to the parliamentary review, the Welsh Government published A Healthier Wales, a long-term plan for the future of health and social care. The plan outlines major changes to the way NHS and social care will be organised in the future, bringing more care closer to home with less reliance on hospitals. It focuses on providing joined up services in communities removing many of the current frustrations expressed by those both using and working in the system. It's the first time a joint health and social care plan has been produced in Wales. It's been developed jointly with the NHS and our stakeholders and there are clear milestones for delivery for the next three years. As well as supporting people when they become ill, we want services which support them to stay well and this means providing more services which stop people getting ill by detecting illnesses earlier or preventing them altogether. This will include helping people manage their own health and manage long-term conditions. And we all have a responsibility to look after our own health and well-being, from taking regular exercise, eating healthily, to stopping smoking and drinking alcohol in moderation. Doing this has a huge impact on people's lives, relieving pressure on the NHS. A Healthy Wales, as our long-term plan, also includes increasing health and well-being opportunities for all. So by the time the NHS turns 80 years old in 2028, I expect joint working and innovative seamless services in Wales to be the norm, not the exception. 
And I'm confident, not least with our fantastic staff, that we can create services which recognise that one size does not fit all. A patient-centred NHS that is designed with the involvement of patients and staff to meet all of our needs. Thank you very much, Jochen Varian.